So it is officially bridal season. It is springtime, summertime coming up. It's a lot of people getting ready to spend one of the most important and most memorable days of their life. Your wedding is such a beautiful moment in time. And of course, being the bride or even a bridesmaid or even a guest, mother and bride, we wanna look our best, we wanna look good. And so today we are going to be talking about wigs that you can wear and hair extensions that you can wear to create beautiful, bridal looks so we're going to get into the styling portion i'm going to give you some styling tips about styling your wigs and then the second half we'll get into like look books and show some different looks with wigs and hair extensions that you can create for that special day now with so many pictures being taken on that special day you're going to have your official photographer but everybody who has their camera that's in attendance is also going to be a photographer so you really really want to look and feel your best so you don't want to do anything too extreme. So I would stay away from any wig styles that are super duper trendy or really, really bold colors unless you rock those colors all the time naturally because your spouse loves you and they want to see an enhanced version of you on that day not somebody totally new, right? You don't want to be walking down the aisle and your spouse is like, who is that? Cause that's not who I signed up to marry. So you just wanna look like the best version of you, a more enhanced version of you. So you do wanna stick with maybe your natural color or natural hair colors if you're gonna do any dyeing or thing like, things like that. And then you wanna stick to a really timeless style because people who got married in the 80s, you can always look back, or certain time periods, you can always look back and see. But there are also a lot of people who've gotten married over time and you look back at their pictures and you really can't specifically tell what time it was, but you know that they look beautiful and it's all because they took the time to really pick styles that are timeless. So updos, updos are always beautiful, always elegant, are a great look for a bride. If you're going to do an updo and you're going to use your hair, you can always add hair extensions, clip-ins, tape-ins, shameless plug, we do sell tape-ins here at Silky Sack, but you can use those to create looks. Later on in the video, you'll see a low shin wand that I did with my tape and hair extensions just to add more volume to the bun. You can do that. Also, if you um, are not sure how to do a bun or really style a bun. They have pre-made buns and all kinds of styles that you can already buy and all you have to do is just put your hair in a small bun and then add that hair on top to bring more fullness and style to the bun. You can always get an updo wig, but if you're going to do that, I would highly recommend you go with a 360 wig. A 360 wig is a wig that has lace all the way around, right? A whole circle, 360 degree lace. I would recommend if you are choosing to go with an updo and a 360 lace wig that you have it professionally installed because you really wanna make sure you're taping down that back of course, a lot of people are going to see you, especially from the back as you're standing on the altar, you're walking down the aisle, making your rounds to the reception. And so you want to make sure that you are looking good at all times. So I would recommend that somebody does that for you, unless you are an advanced wig wearer, a wig installer, then you can definitely do it yourself. But I would definitely have someone do that for me if you're not. Also, I would recommend you definitely glue your unit down. I always recommend Ebens lace adhesive in the black bottle it is an extra hole it is a super hole and the great thing about it is it is very affordable the link for that will also be down in the description box actually the links for everything that we're talking about in the video will be in the description box this adhesive works really well easy to apply and the great thing is it's easy to take off it doesn't take a lot of work you don't have to worry about if you're going to be ripping out your edges or pulling out your hair it comes off just as easy as it is to apply so that would be what i would recommend you using for the big day all right so now let's get into the fun stuff let's go ahead and get into some of these wig styles. Now this first look is what I would call a modern look. Very pretty, very simple, very elegant, just with the 
headband, you can use pearls, you can use diamonds, any kind of headband. And this is some for somebody who's a little bit more modern. Maybe you're having your wedding um, at a beach, somewhere outside, a little bit more low key. And you wanna be just a little bit more simple, but still elegant. I feel like this wig and this simple headband or headpiece could really, really be nice. And it's definitely giving off a nice modern look. The next look is a more traditional look. The hair is straight on this one. You can never go wrong with the side part and middle part with your hair being straight. If you don't have length, again, you can get a longer wig or you can add tape in or hair extensions to give your hair more length. And then this is a great look to put a veil on top of. So I would call this look a little bit more traditional because you know it's a more simple look, but it also is very timeless. Brides typically usually wear a veil. Veils, even though they are traditional, they're also great to dress up a look or dress it down because they come in so many styles and so many different looks. You can have a short veil, you can have the long cathedral veil, a shoulder length veil, veils that have embellishments, embroidery in it. So veils are a really, really great way to make a wig or hairstyle take it up to make it look more elegant or take it down to make it look a little bit more subtle. So this is a nice, easy, traditional look that you can do that is timeless and also elegant. Just get you a straight unit or add some pieces and you're good to go. Now this next look is a glamorous look. It is the look that I'm rocking currently right now. And I really like this look. As you can see, there is color here, but it's a more subtle and more natural way to do the color. The roots are darker, the hair gets lighter. So if you want to play with color or try something, I think this is a great example of how to do that in a nice, subtle way that still looks natural, especially if you already wear your hair this color or you wanna try something a little different, you know, making sure that you have a lighter wig with darker roots helps to make it look a little bit more realistic, especially if you're going with a synthetic unit. And then the barrel curls at the bottom are just timeless. The side part with the beautiful barrette on the side gives it just a little touch of glamour. It's not as traditional as with the veil. You can always add a veil to this look if you want that. This look is perfect for a wedding that is evening, uh, more of a hotel setting or if you're just having more of a after five a more glamorous style wedding a more elegant style wedding I think this one is just a little bit more elevated but it is a look that is very glamorous but also timeless so we're just about halfway through the looks and if you are enjoying this video and you're liking the styles do me a favor go ahead and give the video a thumbs up this will help me out with the platform and so now without further ado, let's go ahead and get back into these bridal looks. The next look is a low chinois or a bun. Now again, as I talked about earlier, you can do this with a 360 wig or if you're using your own hair, you can just add hair extensions to it. This is a low bun. I just added a comb on the side and a more glamorous barrette on the side. Now this hairstyle can go across many, many styles of wedding, whether you're out on the beach getting married, I got married out, doors, and I wore my hair like this when I got married, but you can also wear your hair like this at night for a more classier, more elegant, elevated look. So that's one thing that I do like about buns and chinois is they really can go with any style and any type of wedding because it is timeless and you can use accessories to either glam it up or use flowers or simple things to take it back down if you're not going with a wedding that is as glamorous. If you're going with something that's a little bit more contemporary, something a little bit more modern, you can still rock this look. Just use the accessories to take it up to where you want it to go. I think this is a beautiful look, very classy and very timeless. And this last look is a beautiful bob. Bobs are a timeless style. They are on trend right now, but even though they are trendy right now, it is still very timeless. Bobs have always and will always come back around in some form of fashion. And so you can take this look and definitely add a veil to this look for a more traditional look. You can add any kind of headband or head pieces to glamour it up to make it more modern or to make it a different look or how it is that you really want it 
to be, but a simple bob, whether it's longer or shorter, is a really, really great way and a really, really timeless way to create a beautiful look that will definitely stand the test of time. So those are the looks. Let me know which look was your favorite. And if you wear a lot of wigs and you need help with styling wigs, you're new to wigs and you're not really sure how to style them, please check out these two videos. I have videos talking about how to style a wig, whether the texture is a more silkier texture or whether the wig is a more yakier texture. So please check that also down in the description box, a link to all the wigs that I wore and all of the accessories, of course, you can find at any store, online or in person. As always, I want to say thank you so much for watching. Remember to share with me which look was your favorite. If you're getting married or going to a wedding, which look would you rock? As always, I want to thank you so much. Remember, better care is better wear, and I hope to see you in the next one.